Thompson crowd early. Stores, Connecticut, home of the Yukon Huskies. They added a special train from Hartford directly to Madison Square Garden to accommodate the crowd. Nolan gets the start. Here's Gaffai in the lane, first basket of the evening. And you do not see it on the deck and going left to the rim. Pretty solid play. And he's got to guard this guy all evening. He will be tired. Shabazz does such a good job penetrating. Here's Gaffai. Napier again. Puts it on the floor. Takes the fade away. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Uh, he can really rock. Bodrick guarded. That's 11 on 11. Nice little double screen. Here comes Boat right with another. He can rock it too. Oh boy, they forgot about it. Uh, he just explodes. Yes. Take it away. Two on one. And DeAndre Kane cannot get it to go. He lost control of the ball. And great hustle by Giffy. Napier probing. Back outside. Oh, Daniels would have had an open three. But instead, nevertheless, the back of the head. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. There's Brima with the rebound and the putback. Amita Brima. And here comes Iowa State. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. They both get up. How how do they? Oh my goodness. From the corner again. Boat right off the north of uh, Madison Square Garden. And we get to see it all. Brima with a ball screen and gets to the rim. That's where he could be most dangerous. Goodbye. Now it's in the hands of Lasan Cuomo, a fifth-year senior in his first year at UConn. Here's Napier again. Boy, can't go under. Boy, oh boy. They get tough delivery against a smaller Iowa State team. Samuels did such a good job last week when he had to come on for Napier. Here's Napier again. Wow. Off the ball is the two guard. Run out. DeAndre Daniels back on the floor. He gets the return pass. Now gives it off. He's got to be ready quicker than just get those puppies organized. Seven on the shot clock. Jumper boat right. Monte Morris. Hedgem has been quiet so far. How about that swat? Big time sticker. Monte Morris, a freshman out of Flint, Michigan. City that has produced so many great basketball players over the years. And he's a disruptive force defensively. Look who he's got to play. The mainstay. Napier. Daniels, another for three. Yes. There's one. Back screen pop. Tough shot, but he oh knocks it down, Daniels. Whoa, LaSalle. Great, great competition right now. Here's 11 on 11 again. Boat right. Daniels. Look at this. Get a crossover. How about that? Showing me something. Ben Hoiberg telling us yesterday that at least 50% of the offense went through him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they miss it. Bro, what an elevation. Oh, what a, yeah. The last couple of offensive threats. Napier. Into the corner. He just makes you dance. Yeah, he's not bad oh, right there. Yeah. Wow. Napier a chance to penetrate. Nice guard, though. Nice defense. Well, Marsh is an excellent defender. Boatwright goes right. Spin move, Daniels. Nice shot. defense. Yeah, yeah. good shot. He doesn't get big team, but they all know how to post and deliver. Boat right. Gets a screen from Daniels. Daniels tries to spin, gets it to Boat right. Individual skill level is incredible by the guards. Jumper. Where is this scholarship? Young fellow named Damon Stoudemire. Ooh, he's now an assistant coach there. Oh, the lefty can drill that jumper, three-point shooter as well. Good wow. drive. Oh, 
How about oh that? my gosh. What a run. Not only by Napier, but the read by Hoiberg was really concerned about how they were going to play the ball screen. But just watch the activity here and the read. They don't get topside help down in front of Daniels. A clever maneuver by a guy who leads by example and can finish. It's the shoot around. He came out on the court and was shooting threes with Jack Hoiberg. How about the big guy in the back? Yeah. Yeah. 12 at the line. And, and to Fred, that point, I think in the final game in the Big 12, he was smiling, and telling him to relax. Fred Hoiberg, they came out on fire. What you think can do it coming down the stretch? Daniels has had a big game. There's a and it continues. Right? They will continue to shoot them, Iowa State. Napier, Tim on the shot clock. Pick and pop. Daniels again. Wow. Wow. And Kane, another timeout. Kane on the baseline. Taught a lesson. And then outside, Bert. DeAndre Daniels is 8 of 11 from the field. Pick, pop. Ooh. And they're probably popping some in stores the way he's playing. Sets the screen, pick and roll. They're getting fight for position down low. He marks with great defense right here. Look oh at this my kid. goodness. Ankle breaker. And who's there? Johnny on the spot. And it's a 10 point margin. Game with nine points. They're right there, this team. Terry Samuel. Nice counter. In that right now with that strong move to the 10. He's got 22 points tonight. Just can't keep him out of there. Three to go. 57-45. Winner goes into the regional final on Sunday at Madison Square Garden. Nice Samuel, spin. beautiful. How about that? You mentioned earlier the good job. Championship game last year. Lost to Louisville. Here's Napier. 7.42 to go. Boy, he is quick. Quick and uh, what a pass. That? Yeah. And, and there's Daniels again. Uh, the right. Rejected. Gafai. Nice job defensively. See Fred Hoiberg, he's upset again. Here comes it's four on two. Underneath, Boatwright with a steal. Samuels. How about that step across? Has long hit two big threes in that comeback. Under two to go. Napier. Boatwright goes left. Back outside. Press into the shot clock. All right. Gaffai from the corner. The realization of a dream somewhat shattered. It is nice for Kevin. Let everybody get a piece of an NCAA. Get in the scorebook. This is redundant, admittedly. But on March 8th, Louisville beat UConn 81 to 48. Mm. A pounding. Lesser minds would not have survived. Not these kids, though. At the buzzer, it is good. But it is also over for the Cyclones. Valiant effort by Iowa State out of the Big 12. An even better effort by the Huskies of UConn. They came ready, confident, and got some support. And that's what it's all about when it's over. Two great friends. You mentioned their recruiting trip. Teammates with the Bulls. Great mutual respect. And how about home? What a night. His contribution, pretty special. 81-76, the final. The Huskies advance to Sunday, where they'll take on either Virginia or Michigan State. Let's go to Allen LaForce.
Coach Alley, once again, this game came down to clutch free throws. What does it tell you about the mental toughness about this basketball team? We practice free throws a lot. We know it's a possession to possession game in a tournament, and we got to make free throws down the stretch. That's mental fortitude, and that's what they got. They, I keep telling you, they fighters, and they stay in the middle ring all the time. And, you know, we practice that, but it's the defense, though. The defense is what's carrying us now. We're getting stops, and we're taking, their, taking care of the basketball. What happened there at the end to allow Iowa State to climb back in it? Oh, I'm not worried about that. We're going to the lead eight, and they can have that. I'm not worried about that. It's the, the spotlight is on these guys because they're terrific. They've been through a lot. They're loyal to what UConn is, and uh, we want to keep going on and play on Sunday. There are a lot of UConn fans here tonight. How much of an advantage is it playing here at MSG? It's definitely an advantage, but at the end of the day, it's a basketball game, and we're all about planting seeds. And like I said, there's no better place to plant seeds than in the garden, and we're going to continue to plant seeds, and hopefully we can come out of this, this region and, and head to Texas. On Sunday, you have two great defensive teams in Michigan State and Virginia. How do you like those matchups? Um, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for us, and that's what we're all about. We got to respect them. We got to respect our opponent, but we got to think about us too, and we got to get back to work wherever we're going to practice at, get in the morning, practice, and just keep planting seeds and, and make sure we, we, we take care of business each and every time down because the second hand on the clock don't never go backwards. It always go forward, so we don't want to waste no time. Coach, congratulations. Okay, Let's get DeAndre you. over here. Great job. Hey, DeAndre, come on in. I don't know what's going on back there. Shabazz Napier said last week in Buffalo that you were the X factor of this basketball team. But he said you were the X factor defensively. Then you come in and you have a double-double. You hit some clutch free throws down the stretch. Do you have ice in your veins? Um, man, this whole team has ice in their veins. Um, it starts with Shabazz Napier. He's the leader of this team. And he comes out and play hard. Um, plays with heart every night. And um, we just follow along, follow his lead. How does it feel to play so close to home with so many loyal fans in this building? Man, it's great. And then you see all these Husky, Husky nations that come out here. And uh, we, it's great to come out here and get a win for our UConn. Good luck on Sunday. Thanks, DeAndre. Guys. Thank you, Allie. I love what Kevin Ollie said. There's no better place to plant seeds than in a garden. <laughs> That's <laughs> just Poetic. wonderful. Final score, Connecticut 81, Iowa State 76. For Bill Raftery and Ali LaForce, Vern Lundquist saying so long from New York City. Coming up next on TBS, it's Michigan State against Virginia. We'll send you our, to our studio after these messages. Double-double. Yeah, DeAndre Daniels, 27 points, 10 rebounds, only went 10 for 15 from the floor. Uh, you, I mean, uh, I don't know what else you can say about UConn. It's, you know, you talked about the advantage of playing at the Garden, uh, raucous crowd there, and, and the Huskies respond to it and move on to the Elite Eight. Uh, let's get more on Daniels and how that 27 and 10 came about uh, from Doug. Uh, well, first of all, I mean, he's a face-up four man, you know, which means he's really a small forward playing the power forward. And there are times in which he hasn't been physical enough, hasn't been aggressive enough this season, not just for Kevin Ali, but for Shabazz Napier. But Napier as the point guard really did a great job of creating angles, creating shots for DeAndre Daniels, you know, motioning him, come screen for me. And you pay so much attention to Napier that sometimes you lose Daniels and Daniels is a really skilled player. His natural position is facing the floor, not underneath the bucket. On the other hand, he is a very good athlete, so that when he's, you know, in within five feet of the basket, and again, Napier creates the help, just a simple kickoff. So he gets the credit, but it's really all created by Napier. Still an outstanding performance from DeAndre Daniels. They need that other guy. You can't have just Boatwright and Napier. I, I got to ask you though, this, Smitty. I don't know what they call it in uh, Michigan, but they call it brother-in-law ball in Oklahoma. When you score, I score. DeAndre Daniels did have 27 and 10, but Hogue had, what, 34 points, and they're guarding each other. We call it brother-in-law ball. What do they call it in Michigan? We, we go by letters, W and L. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. One of the one of the lines of the night, along with uh, Kevin Ollie saying, "There's no better place to plant seeds than in a garden." They did that tonight uh, in New York at the, the world's most famous arena. Uh, Grant, put a period on this one for us as uh, as UConn moves on. Yeah, and great great team win. Obviously, Daniel stepped up. Uh, but really, I mean, the way they came out from the gate, shooting threes, really getting going early. Certainly, Iowa State, uh, much like the Tennessee game, looked like they were out of the game, you know, fought hard, got back in it. But the guard play, I mean, 
Napier, I want to make sure I pronounce it correctly, Napier, because he's too good to mispronounce it, but he is, he's, he's so talented. He runs the show. He really is the leader out there on the floor. And to get help from, from uh, Daniels tonight and Boatwright, that, that's what they need to continue to advance. And as for me, well, you know, the NCAA is forcing a hand check rule. Now you can play two point guards off the bounce. So you have Boatwright and Napier being able to break down the defense. They play off each other. Good job by Kevin Ollie putting those two together. UConn moves on 81-76. to The Huskies now get either Virginia or Michigan State.